Hi folks, Paul here, back with my 12 volt LIFEPO car battery replacement. Uh, so this is made using a bunch of uh, LIFEPO pouch cells that I got out of some e-bikes. And up until now, so it's been in the car for about uh, 3 or 4 months now. And at the moment it was just bolted on using lugs on the end of the wires coming out of the battery. And the plan now is to replace that with actual binding posts so that it's a complete drop-in replacement. These binding posts proved to be a bit of a challenge because the Nissan Leaf is using uh, small binding posts compared to the standard. So I wasn't able to source the right size, so I ended up buying standard car lugs and then getting them laid down. To help with that I made a nice little gauge and I'll put the design for that on my mini factory if you are in the same situation as me. So that is the negative and that is the positive. So, it's a slightly different top. Uh, the other thing I've got going on here is I've got a um, 5mm washer, aluminium washer, so that when I when I tighten these up, they, the washer will take the, the pressure rather than crushing the 3D printed plastic. So that's quite nice. And sadly this resistor that limits the current so that the charger doesn't run at 100 amps is still required so I'm going to try and tuck that away inside the lid so it will look nice and tidy. Alright, let's get started. Right, that looks good, solid, solid, alright, okay. alright, can we get this in the shop? All right, go for it. <laughs> oh, once again, I just forgot to put heat shrink on it. Oof. All right, I believe that. Alright, so what I'm going to have to do is pull the innards out, then attach the top, and then slot it back in.
and that says 13.3 yes all right time to peel off the plastic Ta-da! all right Whew. all right let's see if it works in the car All right, so uh, the problem I faced is that this is too far inboard. Uh, it's about four centimeters from there to there, whereas it should have been two centimeters. Uh, somehow I screwed that up, and it's okay on that side, but here this just won't fit. Uh, so I've had, a, had to add this little bit of um, cable in the meantime. Uh, what I will do is reprint this. It works fine. It just looks really dorky. One more iteration, I'm hoping, and then it'll be done. Okay, here we go. So, these are too far apart. Here's another one I just printed with them much closer. Um, so, I'll just put the inserts in. Better make sure I get this around the right way. Plus to plus. Minus to minus. Yes. Negative positive, 13.3 volts positive, that's good. Oh, nice. Okay.
Okay. Good. Check it in. Yep, that's good. Now, one last step that I want to do is heat shrink it with this enormous heat shrink. Um, because I'm a little bit worried that in the heat and vibration of a car, there's a potential for the um, layers in my 3D print to delaminate. So it would be good if there was some mechan more robust mechanical um, something holding it all together. There's a big clamp holding it down there, so that should theoretically remove the chance of any delamination but I've got this this enormous heat shrink so let's use it Not too hot. Still good. All right. Okay, now we're looking pretty good. All right, let's put it in the car. Moment of truth. Yes. Thirteen point three. Nice. Okay. 